There we go. Big down. Hello Geeks! Welcome back to a new video and I hope you're doing well in your side of the world. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who prayed for us and showed their concern regarding our recent bout with COVID-19. So we're doing well and I've recovered enough to do this video. So just a reminder, do take care of yourselves and take the health protocols seriously. Stay home if you can and go sim racing instead. So please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. On this channel, we talk about racing and the race of life in general. Today, we're going rallying. No, no, not that rally. Rally racing, as we know it, is racing against the clock on public roads or off-road trails using racing versions of what is known as homologated sports cars. It's one of the most followed motorsport events in the world, and among rally races, Rally Finland is the most popular. Set amidst autumn trees, Rally Finland features the fastest off-road run times and big jumps that really get your heart racing. So today, we're going to take on a stage of Rally Finland, and we're using the 99 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 rally car in Asaluto Racing. In appearance, this is a great looking car. It looks to be a rare Evo 6 Tommy Mackinac edition which was made by Mitsubishi to honor 4-time World Rally Champion, well, you guess it, Tommy Mackinac of Finland. The in-game version runs on 300 horsepower and of course it comes in 4-wheel drive. However, you can only get this car as an import, so good luck to you burning all your coins to get a semi-rare car like this. The downside to this car is it's got the performance features locked in, so you can't get to adjust most of the performance specs. You also can tune the suspension to get the car to drop lower, for aerodynamic reasons. Okay, so we're going to take the EVO 6 out for a trial on the Rally Finland course here on ER. So not sure if this is the popular Unin Puja stage, I hope I got that right. Anyways, we're going to keep everything stock and see how the EVO is going to handle. At any rate, I know I suck at driving, so please don't blame the car. There we go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. So that's my co-driver talking. Co-driver is a sort of a navigator. And he tells what's up ahead in the course. So what I'm doing basically is I'm trying to keep the car in the center of the course because it's sliding. We're running on, remember we're running on slicks. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we ran through the trees there. It's not the car's fault, it's the driver. Okay. So notice the acceleration in the stock settings. There's not much for me there. But 
Okay, so that's me trying to drift. <laughs> ah, please. Oh, I hit one. <laughs> no, no. So notice the lag and acceleration there. Big jump. The way things are set up, we're not even reaching third gear. There it goes. Big jump. Okay, we're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, is this alright? I, I think so. so. Alright, let's right. resume. So, 3 minutes, 36. So, that's my co driver uh, getting mad at me. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's Boom, and the trees. So now we're going to adjust some of the specs that we can actually adjust on the Evo 6. Let's add a little traction control, change the steering assist change the tire pressure and the final drive so we can get the car to accelerate quicker. So notice the difference in acceleration. faster but handling can be trickier We're expecting this setup to be much faster. And I hope this proves. I think it's correct. Yeah. Okay, so we're concentrating. I think we're concentrating because we're aiming for a bigger or <laughs> a faster lap time. Alright. 
Yeah, come on. So this is a straight run to the finish line. Woo! And straight into the tree. So that's a demonstration of what the EVO 6 can do on rally courses in Asoluto Racing. It's a shame we can't fully maximize the performance of a great car like the EVO 6. But given AR is still undergoing development, we hope that full customization options will be made available to all rally cars in the game. And also the possibility of holding online rally races. Because what's the point of having these rally courses and cars if you can't race them, right? Now, here's also hoping that more rally cars can be made available to the game, like the Hyundai i20 or the Toyota Yaris, because these are pretty much exciting cars. And rallying as a whole is pretty exciting too. So, I know I suck at getting great lap times, but that's okay. Rallying is a lot like life with ups and downs and big jumps and crashes. So you just have to take your time, pick yourself up because you're gonna get there. So I hope you liked the video and do take time to give us a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Please do help us reach a thousand subscribers so we can help more people with our Race for Hope initiative. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep safe and race on.